On day four, we travel from Copenhagen, Denmark to Vandemunde, Germany, where we spend our day visiting the local town. This is the breakfast. Today I want us to try a little bit of everything. Vandemunde, Germany. And I'm not sure what a lot of this stuff is, but this is turkey bacon. <laughs> this is what it looks like after they close the stations, the buffet. They just pull these shades down. And that means it's closed. Are we going? <laughs> We're going to Warnemunde, Germany. And that's not a very big town. So, and we're here for a really long time because a lot of people are going to Ger or to um, Berlin. Berlin and other cities, but we're not going to do that. So we have like a lot of time today. But don't worry, we are going to Berlin. Yeah. After. Yeah. Yep. You know, after in two weeks. So here we go. They're painting it right now. <laughs> Explains why it smells like paint. <laughs> oh, that's cool bathrooms. Look. Oh, Welcome to Germany. Oh. You just said I thought we were gonna spin. Are we? I thought we were going. Okay, to, so, so we're gonna start here and we'll end with the spin. ship. Yeah. Okay. When are we gonna say it? Next week. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to Germany. <laughs> Wait, one. Two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Germany. Germany. We're terrible. They do this in Hawaii too, but not as big as this. He's holding onto a boat over there. This is a picture of the guys who made it. There's, this one's been here since April. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. A strawberry soccer ball. Oh, it's glass. for adults. <laughs> top of that, that's a very cool one. Yeah. It's like the island is the top of this thing's head. Yeah. And it's got trees and everything on it. Like an island. Yeah, it's just and cool. Local kids. It's found land, but it's actually a 
sea monster. It's gonna gobble it all up. Welcome to Germany. Nice. We're supposed to do one together. That's not very cool. Yeah, you can't see anything. Let's find someplace nicer. This would be a nice place to say welcome to Germany. Oh. My arms aren't long enough. They're long enough. That looks pretty good. I can't even see. Can you? I can see. Let me try that. You try it. See if you can get it further. See, look, you can see more now. Ready? One, two, three. Welcome, welcome to, to Germany. Germany. Now we got to turn it on. Here, go over by that guy. What he'll guy? do that guy. He'll do something. If you get close to him, he'll he'll do something. I don't want to do it. You do it. Yeah. I never thought it's these swans in ocean. <laughs> Are swans an ocean thing? Looks like that. it. I thought they were fresh water. Uh, maybe not. They have a green lighthouse on this side and a red lighthouse on that side. And even though it looks close, in order to get there, it's probably a five mile walk and a ferry ride. What's frustrating here at the beach, you have a lot of um, people topless here, and most of them are older. I would say a little bit older than me. But what's frustrating is they got better boobs than I do. They <laughs> do not. <laughs> found the tower. Where does it go? Mm. Can you get in there for free? Mm. We'll find out. 
A lighthouse. I should say a lighthouse. We found a lighthouse. But well, my husband's glad we walked over here because he said at least he got to see boobs. <laughs> what does this mean? Does this mean that no mother and children are allowed here? Uh oh. I'm going. So this might be the zone where women and children are allowed. So on the other side of the sign, now it says no. So all jokes aside, if you know what that means, please let us know. He's got his cell phone. So in the Navigator app, we can order food from the dive-in bar. Look at that, they got burgers, fries. So they have all these different type of burgers. And they have these hot dogs here and fries. Ooh, did you see all the fries? Mm-hmm, I think we could get one of them. Definitely. And so, then the sauces, you gotta get a sauce. Sure, yep. So Scott, you got the high dive, right? Yep. Scott got this high dive and no customization needed. But wow, look, they give you Beyond Meat burger if you want. Mm -hmm. Vegetarian brown rice patties. That a gluten free bun. All of it included. Clump complimentary. That's pretty awesome. So Scott got the high dive. I was thinking about getting the cannonball because I wanted the Gouda Gouda. What? How do you say it? Gouda. <laughs> Gouda cheese. Yeah. Applewood smoked bacon and caramelized. Howda. Howda. Howda cheese. Applewood smoked bacon and caramelized onions. That sounds good, but it sounds like too much for me. So I'm going to opt for the free dive. And uh, that will be iceberg lettuce leaves and a bun in, or a burger in there. And we added it to our order. We're going to add some fries. What kind of fries? Just naked? Yeah. And then a sauce. I oh. think they're sauce. Well, they got... They have a... They have fries topped with diving sauce, which yeah. is their sauce. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, so we're going to get fries topped with diving sauce. Should we get one? Two? Yeah, just one. I think it's going to be a lot. Okay. To order and then view cart three items and there they are oh you got the cannonball nice I thought you got the regular one. Oh no no I didn't get that I got the one right below it oh he got the cannonball nice okay so there you go. What did you get? I got the free dive. And then fries, and then we'll hit submit order. Yes? Yep. Order confirmed. 601. Let's go get our food. Okay. We've 
finally made it. Huh? Oh, I didn't know they had that. That's cool. So, still being made. I guess the burgers are included, but the milkshakes are not. Today we got German flags flying in here. It could be because we're at a German port. I guess tomorrow when we're in Belgium, we'll come check out the flag, see if they've changed it. They're supposed to have some kind of a beer party today, so maybe they're gonna have beer until this is gone. There's more than one station, so it's crazy. <laughs> That's the end result. And we got a nice view. We're just sitting here, relaxing. We just came back. A nice big walk. Took a shower, took a nap, you know. All the wonderful things in life. It tastes like what? Yeah, it's the same as Chick fil A sauce, except oh. for handmade, maybe. Oh. No, it comes like this. It's called the Freestyle. So, a bunless burger, and it looks good. Scott's still working on his fries. Okay, you fries all the Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. People want to know how good is it? That's so good. <laughs> Are you going to give up going to the dining? No. <laughs> Are we going to eat twice every day now? <laughs> It's like a BLT and a cheeseburger all together. It's so much stuff. It's it good though. Yeah, it's really good. Are you gonna give up the dining room for it? Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to eat with you. Just eat twice a day, huh? <laughs> Three times a day. Yeah. By the way, this is fresh lemonade. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little pieces of lemon floating in there that doesn't taste artificial. Get um, a chocolate and a sugar cone. Sugar. Shoot. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Oh well. Come back. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you man. Could I get a sugar cone um, with the vanilla? We got the right cone. So we'll take you through here again, and I'm only going to show you what's different. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry tart. Chocolate apricot. Coffee and ice cream. Someone should put them together and make a drink. <laughs> well, I think they already have coffee ice cream, remember? <laughs> so they sort of did one. <laughs> and here you have it. This is what happens when you don't want to pay $35 to have somebody wash your laundry. <laughs> so today, because it's such a big port day and the boat doesn't take off till 9, 30 tonight, it's open dining. You no longer have an assigned table anymore. And only one dining room is open, not two. So we're sitting downstairs. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to want to eat early every time. <laughs> so we have a table for two. Yeah, no. it's dining night. We should eat this uh, every day. <laughs> that way we don't have to annoy people with our videoing. Yeah, we don't have to be annoying to anybody. So, just like the other one, there are no chef choices for today. Oh, okay. So, I 
think I will start with the sushi roll trio. What are you getting, love? Crab cakes. Crab cakes for Scott. I will get oh, roasted spice crusted prime rib with wild mushrooms. That's your thing. Oh yeah, but they have vegetable tempura udon. What are you getting? I guess what I could do is get that prime rib. And I'll get the udon? Okay. And you oh. can eat both. <laughs> Why? What else do you and want? I'll have both of your desserts. Both of the desserts. Yeah, okay. I don't want any other desserts. Can't. No, for real, I don't. You want to eat both my desserts? Um, none of it looks there. <laughs> Okay, does Scott's gonna eat my dessert? <laughs> so I'm gonna get a hot fudge someday and he's gonna get a chocolate puff pastry. This is my little trio and it is very little. Look, cute. Yeah. And that's Scott little crab cake. Oh, that's cute. And you're cute too. <laughs> Bread and cooked just right. It's got a little spicy sauce. Nice. It does look good. It's nice. Want to taste? Wow. I don't even like crab cakes, but that's good. It's like a tomato, a uh, spicy tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Mm. All right, try one of those. Which one gets it? <laughs> They're all different. I guess that's what appetizer is supposed to be. It's not bad. Alright. Not bad. Alright. This is what mine looks like. Nothing too special. Doesn't look like anything special. I'll give it a taste in a second and see how it is. A little shrimp and salad here. Oh, these are cool. What is that? I don't know. It looks like maybe egg rings. Maybe. I think it's some kind of a vegetable. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Ooh. Artichoke. Huh? It's just a, it's an artichoke card, I think, but it's cut in a different oh, way. Interesting. And you gonna try that breaded shrimp? Let me try it. Heard the crunch from here. It's crunchy. <laughs> it's like a tangy, tangy, tangy. Um, raspberry something and then it kind of mellows out slowly over time. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's mainly for the salad. It's like a oh, okay. raspberry vinaigrette, but it was good with the shrimp. Oh, okay. You want to try mine? <laughs> okay. I like bisques, so we'll see. That's an excellent soup. Yeah. Yeah, it's really like a mild tasting, kind of like a potato, but with such great flavors. What was it? What, what zucchini, was it? zucchini bisque. That's really good. The guy could eat that every day. <clears throat> That's good. I can taste like basil too, like zucchini basil. That's good. It's very good tonight. Okay, this is the most different I've ever seen a tempura udon. So we've got tempura stuff on the top here, we've got noodles, and here they've served me my udon sauce, which I guess I will pour on it and then eat it, and that is really different. This got one looks real good. Look at that beautiness. That's pretty. And it's cooked perfectly. Extra medium rare. Looks like it's medium rare. Mm, it's 
buttery and delicious. Is it a good prime rib? Mm -hmm. Is it Hala Eva Joe's? No. <laughs> no prime rib good? <laughs> no. Alright, let's see how you do this, Udon. Wish I would have got chopsticks. Well, that just ruined all your tempura. <laughs> Wow, this is so different. <laughs> it does look like it. Mm. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's Scott's thing. What you get? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, what was that? Chocolate player? I don't remember. <laughs> And mine is a sundae, which is interesting because it doesn't look like yeah, fudge. It's supposed to be a hot fudge. Yeah, it's supposed to be a hot fudge sundae, but it does not look like one. Well, I'm pretty sure it's good. I mean, everything seems to be fairly good. Do you want to try yours? Really? Mine's just ice cream, so. I'll crack into this. I think it's like a, basically like a. Oh, oh, wow. There's like a. Like a. What do you call that? It's like peanut butter. It's like a chocolate cream inside there. Wow. Is that the dessert that changes your life? Maybe. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, it's crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And just the right amount of crispiness so it doesn't like, it's not too hard to chew or anything. It's kind of like, um, like cinnamon toast. Tastes great. All right, let's try yours. It's just ice cream, though. Um, no, we're no, good. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you so anyway. much, though. What was that? Whoa! <laughs> What's going on here? I guess you had a life changing. There dessert. is something going on here. <laughs> it's supposed to be a hot fudge Sunday, but what is happening? It's like. When you bite into it, it's like crystals of caramel punch you in the mouth. Wow. It's crazy. You're going to try this. <laughs> wow. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's caramel, I think, right? Yeah. Or, or sugar, giant sugar. Something. No. That is interesting. Yeah. That's a first. Very good. So it seems tonight that the dessert bar is kicking in crazy. What is this? <laughs> oh, <jello>. oh. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah, that's jello. That's jello. <laughs> I thought you were asking about those all day. No. The desserts are going off. Apple strudels. De Nowell? What is that? Bavarian cream? I know I messed that up. I don't know what that is. Satcher tort. Or is it torte? <laughs> Hello, look at the design today. It's oh, beers. It's Since we're in Germany, they're rocking the German hats. Rockwurst. Oh, look at that. Look at all these different sausages. Look at this sugar pretzel right here. Looks like Bavarian pretzels, yeah. Must be the real thing. German hamburgers. Wow. 
Oh, they got, got pate and everything in there. All of these cheeses. Some blood sausage. No, what is this? Oh, it's blood sausage. Hey, this is the Oh, boy. There's the one roasted zucchini. And Wild Harvest has salad tonight. This is a taste of Mongolia. Looks like all your normal Asian stuff here. <laughs> It smells like something different. It smells like apple something. It's sort of a green brown hue. Wow. <laughs> it's like green apples and some something. Yeah. I don't know what that flavor is. It must be German. Maybe they mixed the buns together. <laughs> Maybe it's got beer in it. Maybe, I don't know. Well, you have it. <laughs> so full. <laughs> Me too. But it's good. I think it's good. I think I know what it is. I think it's lime, apple, and like raspberry. And it also has three colors in it. It's got green, yellow and red so it's probably somewhere around those flavor flavor profiles Red cabbage sauerkraut, some kind of crackling pork. Scott wanted potatoes. Oh no, I really got those for you. You asked. <laughs> I wanted the sauerkraut. I asked which was the best sausage. She said this one. Don't ask me what it is. I have water. Do you want iced tea? An iced tea please. So we got the... Oh, it's German night. We said that, right? <laughs> we got the pretzels. Got some fruit. And so let's see what's happening here. The blood sausage. I'm not usually a fan of that. <laughs> it tastes like bologna. Oh, it tastes like bologna? It does. Mm. With a little bit of um, liver paste and also a little bit of bread paste. I know, yeah. But it's nothing strong at all. It's no. very light on the palate. Yeah. Okay, well, like they've been practicing I'll tell you right years. now, I'm probably going to like everything, so. Yeah, look at that. That's your favorite. You can uh, stop watching me add on the pounds, I guess. <laughs> okay. So we had to buy this, and Scott says it's. Um, it tastes like kielbasa from Wisconsin, and it's a little better here, but 
it's, you could kind of get it in Wisconsin. This is great because the casing on it snaps, has a nice snap to it. So the inside sausage is soft, the outside has this nice bite. Yes. Pack. A nice snap. I like that. That's really good. This pork here with the crunchy top. Oh my god, like chicharron with the rest of the pork. This is wonderful. It's good. I can't believe I'm eating for like the fifth time today. <laughs> even with the lighthouse. Going through the green and the red lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. 